Yes, children, today we are going to start a poem. And before I talk about like what the poem is, though it's clear from the blackboard also. Uh, yet before we start about what the poem is or what its theme is, uh, we can have a discussion upon, uh, upon some issue. First, let us discuss like what's the difference between man and animal. How is man different from animals? Yes, it's a discussion round. You can all take part in it. So how is man different from animals or what are the various different characteristics of animals and man? man. I will ask anyone, all of you be ready. You take your uh, a few minutes. You take 30 seconds to think about it. Like what is the difference between man and animal? My second question is, is it man who would like to be animals or is it the animals who would like to be man? Difference, number one, you'll be talking about the difference. Then you will be uh, telling like who would, who would prefer, who would like to be, who would like to change from animals to man, man or man to animals? Yes. Yes. So difference between man and animal. Ravneet Kaur. Ma'am, can you please repeat? What's, what is the difference between man and animal? Ma'am, man is... Mm. Yes. Okay, Harshti. Ma'am, uh, human and animals, uh, the similarities between them are that they can both eat, sleep, walk. But I think the... Uh, difference between them is that we can uh, we can uh, speak and uh, my main difference is language main okay according, according to Harshdeep the main difference is that man can speak but animals cannot speak animals cannot express yes. their pain they cannot express their happiness uh, okay so they cannot speak mainly this is what Harshdeep talks about so then uh, if we talk about uh, uh, one difference, like they can speak or they cannot, then on the basis of that, man is better than animals. Okay, let's talk about other differences. Divitam. Okay, Dhamnesh. The IQ more develop the, the brain in man. Please repeat. The IQ level in humans are more developed than animals. Human beings are more developed. Means uh, human beings have been able to advance, make advancement than what the animals have done. So human beings have shifted from the stone age to the modernity, whereas the animals are there as it is. They're still living in the forests. They're still, uh, you know, uh, eat raw materials and all, whereas the man has come from uh, leaving, eating stone, uh, leaves to pizza. So big advancement man has made. You know? Okay, Arman. Ma'am, man and animals are different as from their biological differences. For example, they can walk on the four uh, uh, foot, and we have two foot. But that biological difference we have from them. Okay, Arman, would you please repeat your words? In a I'm man and animal. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we are different from animals by the biological differences. 
okay yes that is of course there we are different from animals because of the biological differences that is needless to say that is okay okay ashwin yes um good afternoon ma'am good afternoon ma'am my point regarding this aspect is that ma'am i think humans and animals are different from the point of endangerment like humans have invented the science and they have made several ways so that they can live on the planet earth but animals they only depend upon the nature so they can get extinct so my point was this repeat please ma'am ma'am my point regarding humans and animals of the difference was that regarding endangerment like humans have made the several ways and they have invented this science and they have made several ways so that they can live on the planet earth but animals as they only depend upon the nature so they can get extinct so that's it okay so arshin says that the difference between man and animal is uh, about their uh, about their being uh, being you know about their nature for getting you know about their being prone to getting extinct okay yes man depends upon uh, man has been able to make out several ways through which he keeps on evolving throughout okay right from stone age to now the man has been able to evolve and become better than what he had been whereas many species of animals getting keep on getting extinct because of their dependence upon nature only okay so uh, this point draws to the fact that man is uh, you know intelligent whereas the animals uh, have not been given that intelligence which man has been gifted with okay okay ravni yes ma'am animals are more loyal than humans animals are more loyal yeah. animals are more loyal than uh, human beings so one point is going in favor of animals now that animals uh, are more sincere more faithful than the man is once you uh, find one animal that animal would remain true to you forever whereas it's not true with human beings okay you may to you may be very good with somebody but when that person will become traitor to you you would never know okay so as far as loyalty is concerned uh, animals are better okay as far as intelligence is concerned man is better okay what else who else would like to say something else पार्थ यस मैम फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ में एनिमल्स बहुत ज्यादा हैं ह्यूमन से ओके पार्थ से सेट एज फार एज फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ इज कंसर्नड एनिमल्स आर फार फार मोर स्ट्रांगर देन द मैन एनिमल्स आर स्ट्रांगर देन मैन यू नो व्हाट्स द रीजन फॉर दिस एनिमल्स आर स्ट्रांगर देन मैन व्हाट्स द रीजन फॉर दिस एंड इज इट अ फैक्ट डू यू रियली बिलीव इन दिस Yes, Bart, explain it. Do you actually believe in this? Ma'am, animals के पास human से ज़्यादा strength इसलिए है, ma'am, क्योंकि उन्हें harsh conditions में रहके अपने आप को चार बार survive करना पड़ता है, दूसरों को मार के, इसलिए. And if man also does the same thing, then? Ma'am, फिर जैसे हमारे पूर्वज थे, ma'am, उनके पास फिर strength हमसे ज़्यादा थी. Okay. Uh, so you can say that our ancestors prabnur is not like okay so prabnur uh, part uh, point is like uh, the animals are stronger than men it's not so man is stronger than anybody else okay what is what is more important it's not important like how how much physical strength you are you have the more important thing is that how much mentally emotionally intellectually strong you are and that strength is the with man not with animals even an elephant can be tamed by a by by a man elephant is tamed by an by a man because of man's strength of mind and uh, uh, you know his emotional strength so he is able to um, uh, you can say tackle the elephant emotionally and tames him the animals forget their strength because of the strength of man so in the end it's not your physical strength which matters what matters the most is how strong you are from within that's why education makes human beings stronger okay education that's why it is important to make you people become stronger 
because those who people have 40 power, emotional intellectual strength they are able to beat anyone in the world so okay but anyways if you talk about the physical strength looks wise then okay animals seem to be stronger if you can say this but actually what i will add from my side it is man who is stronger than animals because it is man who tames animals animals have not been able to tame man so far okay it is the animals who are subservient to men there are zoos okay all the wildlife sanctuaries are taken over by men not by animals so it is man who is stronger than animals so sorry for rectifying you it's okay anyone else hmm? okay mystery is there and guruseva is also there yes guruseva first you speak ma'am their power of sensing animals so, have a uh, good power of sensing the uh, earthquakes and uh, various nature changing okay so animals are more sensitive you want to say so one point which went in favor of animals was that they are more sincere and second point which went in favor of animals is that they are more sensitive yes they can sense very easily you're right okay and mystery now you speak ma'am animals do have emotions uh the one uh, with one which they connect uh, emotionally they can do anything to protect uh, their owner or the one which they love but sometimes humans become emotionless and for their greed they do not protect but they take revenge from others okay so mystery's point is that man, uh, animals are also emotional man is emotional okay man man is uh, you know we take it for granted that man is emotional each and every person is emotional even if we come across somebody who is very cruel but at the end of the day that person also becomes emotional maybe for his own family only. but animals are also emotional that is very true even animals also feel poor they bad they also feel become sad okay uh, okay so animals also become emotional animals are sensitive animals are loyal man is intelligent man is you know stronger than animals because of his emotional intellectual uh, and other strengths right animals have only got physical strength okay but man has got intellectual strength which makes him even more you know powerful than the animals is okay what else anything else anything else so in the end in one word in one sentence uh, kritika yes afternoon ma'am hmm good afternoon bachcha ma'am animals are more fa uh, faithful than humans animals that we have discussed uh, kritika animals are more sincere animals are sincere than man that we discussed in the very beginning so okay well done anyways first if any new point Uh, ma'am uh, humans don't uh, humans have uh, much freedom but animals do not enjoy such freedom so and if you say that animals are sorry human beings are able to enjoy more freedom than the animals animals yes ma'am okay let's pros uh, introspect upon this point like whether it is true or not whether it is the animals who are more free or man man is you know ma'am sometimes mm -hmm. uh yes point is man's life is rather more restricted our life is quite restricted one our roles are specific we have to do specific things specific jobs right though we have got mental freedom we have got emotional freedom uh, but it is so with animals also wow. that's why animals are called as wild okay wilder uh, wild animals are you know free they enjoy more freedom than even man anyways uh, it depends upon us it depends from person to person whether man is able to enjoy uh, that freedom which animals also enjoy or man remains uh, shackled in his own bonds okay so it's a little you can say debatable issue it's it depends from person to person 
there can be someone who lives a life of complete freedom and there can be a person who says that i am always bound right and similarly uh, but animals you know they enjoy more freedom it's okay okay there are some children those who never raised hands okay prabhun you were raising hand in the very beginning later on you never raised hand what happened prabhun I'm actually there is difficulty when i speak because i am having cold and cough so that's why what happened Uh, ma'am, I'm actually having cold and cough, so I'm not able to speak for a long time. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Otherwise, take care. Okay. Nowadays, all of you, please take care of your health. So that's why your online classes are being held, so that you can enjoy your classes even from your own wells. When you are not well, you can uh, in, uh, take classes from your very comfortable zone. Okay. The most important thing is that take care of your health. It's really very, very cold for children nowadays. so keep yourself warm all of you okay take a little warm water all of you avoid going out without covering your head and all anyways so let's now uh, start the poem uh, this all discussion was to talk about like uh, we are actually going to do the poem animals and in the poem animals you know let me not talk much about the poem first let me show you the poem first Yes, here is a poem, "Animals," written by Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman is one of the uh, one of those kinds of poets who wrote poem in a little dif different manner. He is the contemporary of uh, you know the kinds of poets like uh, uh, Wordsworth, William Wordsworth, and all. so william wordsworth who was celebrated as a romantic poet the one who worshiped nature there we will see like this kind of walt whitman as a revolutionary kind of poet why his poem is considered to be revolutionary because earlier all the poems used to be written in uh, rhyme and then there it used to be you know uh, well patterned and nature used to be worship and all but in the poems of walt whitman uh he wrote the things uh without rhymes they didn't used to be in uh, you know a perfect rhyme and all and he used to write in the po the poems in free verse and in this very poem also you see that there is no rhyme and secondly uh, his poem in his poems he did not uh, uh worship nature the way uh, william wordsworth and all all used to the poems are you know the different ones than the way poems used to be written in that time and moreover walt whitman's poems you know are based upon logic and uh, scientific facts and he compares the things to such things that uh, the reader gets startled to feel like how come this comparison be there okay so in one of the poems he compares uh, uh, two friends to a compass Okay, that is a very very far fetched comparison. Like, how can you compare two friends to a compass? Can you imagine? Can you imagine how can two friends be like a compass? Can you imagine this? Can you justify this comparison? Any one of you? Okay, the one issue is yes, yes. Like north south, both are different friend. Um, uh, मतलब different वो होते हैं. Their thinking process is different. Hmm. Okay, uh, compass. You know, it's okay. Kushi is also there. Let us ask. See her. Yes, 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 Kushi. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, Pita. Hmm. Ma'am, I think friends can be compared to compass because they might be two different. two totally different individuals with totally different thinking processes but they remain joined together always yes you are right very good point very good answer and that's the point only like two friends can be compared to a compass because the compass you know it's one part is uh, joined from the top and the other two parts you know they are always separate from each other but from the uh, from the from the core of their heart they are one 
okay but they may have uh, different things to do they may have different likings they may have different uh, uh, dislikings but at the core they are same because they are their hearts are together okay okay so these kinds of comparisons uh, it was only this person you know walt whitman who brought in poetry so he he made it uh, he he gave the possibility that in poetry we don't have to compare the things only with uh, with the nature or something he could bring the comparisons from very far fetched ideas also okay so somewhere he could compare the uh, you know he could talk about the mosquito and the friends so there those kinds of things were also compared so he talked about various far fetched ideas in his poetry and his poems are worth reading and you kinds of this generation will love the walt whitman if his poems are there so even at this point you know you will see something which is uh, you know quite contrasting so now when we people were discussing uh, the comparison between man and animals many of you people were uh, talking about the good things in favor of man uh, but here and uh, if i ask you in one sentence children would you like to be animals i guess many of you would uh, raise your brows and would make bad faces like why why we would you would never like to be like animals but here in this poem you know the poet wants to be uh, wants to be with the animals he wants to be animals he wants to change his position from man to animal and there are uh, so many reasons behind it and the biggest reason you people find out like why does the poet want to change his side why does he want to be a turn coat let's see the poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans so he feels more at home with animals what do you mean by this he is more comfortable with animals than the humans whom he finds complicated and false so the human beings are you know what human beings are they are false they are complicated they wear a mask uh, under their real self and we are not able to make out like who one is okay people are double standards people are fake okay people are complex sometimes we are never able to understand somebody throughout our life okay and sometimes and most of the time somebody is totally a new person at new instance so the human beings are very complex whereas the animals are same always okay animals not keep on changing after each day they always remain same and if they change they change in your favor only okay if they change they only become sincere to you that's it nothing more than that right so the poet is uh, you know uh, the one who thinks that he would like to be the animals because animals are he is more comfortable with animals let's see why let's first go through the poem only uh, i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self contained i stand and look at them long and long they do not sweat and whine about their condition they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of owning things not one kneels to another nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth so they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of myself they evince them plainly in their position position i wonder where they get those tokens did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them so this is the simple poem where the poet is talking about like uh, he would like to be with the animals because uh, the animals are far better than human beings okay the animals are able to, uh, animals you know they appear to be they show themselves to be they prove to be more sincere than the human beings so what those things are which make the poet say that he would like to be the, with animals i think i could turn and live with animals so i could turn means i would change side instead of living human beings like live with human beings and animals live together that is the law of nature but the poet says that he would like to change his side 
and would like to stay with animals. He would like to spend his whole life with animals. So what a turn is that we're talking about? Turn means changing his uh, uh, position from, changing his, you can say, dwelling from the dwelling of, uh, uh, dwelling point with human beings to the, to, to live with the animals. They are so placid. Placid means calm, cool. They are so calm. They are, they are so much at, at they are so much at peace, and they are self-contained. What is self-contained? They they are happy with themselves. They don't want the world of the world. They don't want they don't want the wealth of the world. Satisfied. So they are calm, peaceful, and satisfied. What is the what are the first things the poet talks in favor of animals? That they are peace, they are at peace with themselves, they are cool and they are satisfied with, the, with what they have. It is the man who's always wanted more and more and more and is still wanting more. When man was in the stone age, he wanted more. And finally, man has reached this stage where he has even able, he has been able to reach the Mars and Moon also. And still man wants more. But animals never want these kinds of things, so they are happy with where they were. So the animals are cool. They are at peace with themselves and they are self-satisfied. I stand and look at them long and long. So I stand and look at them long and long. Here the word long has been repeated to emphasize that the poet has taken this decision to change from being a human towards animals. Is It's not his, you know, impulsive action decision. It's not, you know, he has, it's not the decision he has taken just uh, uh, within a minute or within an hour. He has been thinking about it. He has been observing these things for the long time. And now he's decided to change his self from the from the humanity to the animal side so i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self-contained i stand and look at them long and long so here i word has been repeated three times okay i think i could i stand so i word has been repeated because the poet it's poet's personal point of view and what he wants to assert is that he, want, he has decided to change his, uh, you know, stand from being, an, an, being a man to animal because animals are far, far better than the animals as far as their, animals are better than man as far as their nature is concerned. They are more placid and self-satisfied. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. So sweat and whine over here means they don't, uh, uh, fuss much about. They don't make more mention of their condition. They don't talk much about uh, their miseries, their struggles, their uh, uh, disasters, their ruins or, or bad things. If, if animals do not talk much about their problems, then who does? Man. So unlike man, animals, you know, always remain at peace and self-satisfied and never ever talk or never ever fuss about their miseries or problems. Okay, sweat and wine over here means they don't complain much about their misfortunes or miseries or problems or adversities. Nowadays, we human beings keep on complaining about too much cold. But do we ever bother? Like, do we ever see the animals complaining a lot about the bad weather. It is we who bother about their well-being, but otherwise they never complain. They are always quiet. Point is not that they cannot talk. They don't keep on hiding in one shelter always. They can be seen moving about even when it is, you know, uh, it's very cold. So animals don't make fuss about their problems or their miseries. So, man, uh, so the poet says animals are better than human beings. So they are cool and self-satisfied. They never complain. They never fuss about their miseries. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. And the another thing which the poet likes about the animals is that the poet that these animals 
live live peacefully placid and self contained and they also go to sleep peacefully at night they don't have to remain awake at night to ask god to forgive them for the sins they have committed it is a man you know who has to remain awake at night to ask god to forgive him for his sins you know the animals live peacefully at day and sleep peacefully at night because they don't have to uh, complain they don't have to repent for the sins they have committed because they don't commit any sins their heart mind and body is clear they do what they have to do okay so children will be continuing the poem tomorrow at this time so okay uh yes children before i go i would like to remind you like start sending me your uh, uh, uh holidays homework it was just one poster and the poster was upon animals right stop cruelty to animals you have to just make one poster uh start sending it to me you may send send an e, e poster also okay but basically then it was asked like you people must do it on a on a4 sheet if you've done it on a4 sheet send me its pic if otherwise you can send me an e poster also so send me the e poster within 2 days or 3 days okay thank you <clears throat>